A very good day to all of you, my dear friends, and may you be blessed. May you be the blessing. May you be the blessing so that the Lord Jesus, he may be glorified through your life. And I would like to share with you, I want to share with you this scripture which is very powerful. This is scripture where you find in Luke chapter 17 that talks about the healing of the ten lepers. Apparently, it's a very simple uh, passage because there is not much to be explained because the story already explains itself, but there is a small detail that you need to know about. Yes, you need to know about it. Because this small detail makes the difference in the healing of these ten lepers. And the Bible says that Jesus entered in this city and ten lepers, they were standing from afar and they were screaming, Lord, have mercy on us. And then Jesus immediately told them, go show yourselves to the priests, because only the priests had the authority to, to say if the person was good and they could go back to society or they should remain away from everybody. Only the high priest had his authority. So the scripture does say that all of them were healed. The ten lepers, they had faith to be healed immediately, even before presenting themselves to the high priest. But the Bible says that one of them, seeing that he was healed, returned with a loud voice glorifying God, returned with a loud voice glorifying God and fell down on his face at his feet, he fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan who was or nev never got along with the Jews. And Jesus answered and said, were not there ten cleansed, but we are the nine. Now here, Jesus actually adds to this, saying, Arise, go your way, your faith has made you well. And there is the greatest point of all. The ten of them were healed, but only one had faith to be saved. Jesus says, Arise, go your way, your faith has made you well. What we have seen nowadays are millions, millions of people who are healed of several diseases. They are blessed and prosperous. They had miracles, extraordinary miracles happen in their lives. They were healed and free from addictions. They were set free from all kinds of diseases. But Jesus says, to that one leprous man or former leprous man who returned giving him thanks, saying to him, were not nine or ten actually who were healed, where are the other nine? Why only one returned to give him the glory, to recognize that it was God who did this great miracle and recognize him as Lord. And that's why Jesus told him, go, because your faith has made you well. Ten of them had faith to be healed, but only one had faith to return and receive salvation. Now, friends, I ask you, what it is that you want? You want to resolve your personal problems, financial problems, health problems, family problems, 
any kind of problems, you want to resolve them, right? Every single one of us, we want to resolve our problems. But what shows here is that the majority of the people have faith to resolve their problems, to receive the healing, to prosper. They have faith to, to be made new and, and on and on. But they do not have faith to be saved. And here is the small detail. They have faith to receive everything, but they don't have faith to be saved or to maintain to maintain themselves saved or to maintain themselves alive for eternity. Because only those who are saved are the ones who are healed for eternity. But those who are sick, those who receive miracles and wonders, they don't have faith to be saved. These, they will live their lives only of this world, this world that passes. This world passes and so does the blessings. And that is the teaching that I learned and I have been learning and that God has been revealing it to us. Many are called, Jesus said. Few are the chosen. And how about you? Who are you? Are you of the many who are called and few who are chosen? And you make yourself chosen? Or are you the one that has been called and you received a bunch of miracles, but yet you have not been chosen? Each one knows of their own. Each one has to judge their own faith because we are speaking of faith. We have been speaking of the faith that heals, the faith that has no stains, the faith that is not attached, the faith that is not attached, not attached with any emotions, that is not, that is not affected by the bad conscience, which is the faith that saves. And there are people who are set free from their evil or from the evil. They were free from all the disgrace, from all of the problems. They had their families restored. And then after they just threw everything to the side and they lost also their salvation. And one of the lepers, just one, was saved. From the ten, only one, only one was saved. So think about it. God bless all of you.